I really need to get around to filming videos earlier. I need to stop procrastinating. It's Celeste Joan and today I'm going to be doing the author tag. I saw author and Sophie do it and I just I loved the questions. They're different to any like the other author tags that I've done and I'll link her video down in the description. Go ahead check it out. But today I'm going to be doing the author tag and before we get into that if you want to go ahead scroll down a little bit hit that like button. It really is very much appreciated. If you're not already and you want to see more content from me subscribe hit the bell notification do all of those fun things. But without further ado let's get into the video. So this consists of 10 different questions. The first question is what is your favorite place to write and I have two favorite places to write. The first one is at home and I like sitting on my couch with the window right next to me so I can like it's like I'm outside but I'm inside. And the second one is on campus at my school and inside our like activity center there's this couch that I like sitting on. I like sitting on couches while I write apparently. But there's this couch that I sit on and there's stuff going around and, and there's stuff happening around me but I can also just put in music and focus in on what I'm writing and I just I seem to be productive there. And I'm gonna add in a third one as well. It's also on campus. There is a spot in our underground, which is one of our food places on campus, where I can sit and I can get work done. So most of the times when you see my vlogs and if I'm writing or I'm eating or something, I'm normally sitting in my little corner where I can get a lot of work done. And again it's because there's things going on around me but I can also put in earbuds and just focus. Question number two is coffee or tea? And I'm gonna say neither. I don't like coffee. <laughs> I also don't really like tea. So I'm gonna say hot chocolate. My go-to drink is hot chocolate or water, but I really like hot chocolate. <laughs> and my go-to writing drink is 100% hot chocolate. Number three is a favorite book of all time. Okay, so there's so many books. <laughs> there are so many books. I can't, how do you expect me to choose? How? So I'm gonna kind of bend the question a little bit, but my favorite thing that I read last year was the Harry Potter series. I read it for the first time last year. I absolutely loved it. And if I want to go, ugh, there's so many books. There are so many books. Favorite book in the genre that I write, so contemporary YA, is the first one that comes to mind is called I'm Not Her. And I just, I love, I love it. It's like a book I aspire to be. <laughs> um, definitely that one as well. I will link that book down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Question number four is NaNoWriMo, yes or no? And I am a hard yes for NaNoWriMo. I've been doing it since I started high school. I'm still doing it in college. Do I win every year? No. But do I get more productive during those months? Yes. So I 100% love NaNoWriMo because I have that set goal of 50,000 words during November. I can make the goal smaller or make it bigger in camp nano months and i love the whole nano rhymo community so connecting with other authors here on youtube connecting with them on instagram connecting with them in the forums on nano rhymo it's just so much fun i love it question number five is what is the genre you would write if you had no restrictions and i think it's the genre that i do write it is contemporary young adult and or new adult um i just i love talking about like real world problems and showing how my characters get through them and it's not always things people want to talk about or want to read about like I understand completely my books are not for everybody they will probably trigger some people so I will put content warnings at the beginning but I feel like these are the stories that I'm meant to tell so like without a doubt I I, I love writing young adult new adult contemporary books I love it Number six is if you could have any superpower, what would it be? So my basic answer is invisibility. I feel like it'd be nice for multiple reasons. One, um, to kind of see what people say about me or if they say anything about me while I'm not around. Two, I would love to be able to just kind of like get into places and just kind of like be off to the side. No one has to see me. I can be there. I can enjoy myself. But no one knows I'm there. I don't attract any attention to myself. That would be wonderful. And number three, if I could like get in and do research in a place like without anyone knowing that I'm there and like just kind of see firsthand how these things happen, especially if it's like places that it's hard to get into to do research, that would be really cool. <laughs> number seven is my favorite author. 
and I have to stick with my childhood favorite author like from third grade up I have loved her books I still haven't read the recent ones and I hate myself for it because I really need to read them and figure out how this series ends but Margaret Peterson Haddix yes <laughs> I was introduced to her books through the Missing series and also with Palace of Mirrors um, and I later read literally all of her books that I could that were out at the time and I I need to go back and read the end of the Missing series and really just reread the entire series figure out how it ends because I love that series and I love her as an author so much and then my second favorite author because I ha I can't just choose one come on my second favorite author would have to be John Green. Just, yes. <laughs> Question number eight is what type of music do you listen to when you write? And it really depends on where I am in the writing process. If I am drafting, I will either pull up my playlist that I have created for the book that captures the vibe of the book and captures certain moments and certain scenes inside of the book. I will either pull up that playlist, I'll pull up instrumental music, or like epic battle scene music so I can just like get all of the words out. Right now I'm in the revising process of Project Restart, so I'm not really listening to music, but when I do, I do pull up that playlist that I've created for the book. Question number nine, if you could live anywhere, where would it be? Um, so I'm not gonna pick like a certain like place or location, but I'm gonna like pick a certain scenery. So realistically, I like to live in the suburbs. I love suburban life. It just it feels like home to me. But if I could live anywhere, I would have like a cabin in the woods on a mountain where it snows and there might be like a river running through or like a lake around. So I want the four seasons, but I also kind of like want to be secluded from people, but not too secluded from people. So like if I, you could put like a, a mountain with trees around, and a lake inside of the suburbs? That would be great. <laughs> and then question number 10 is what do you do when you get writer's block? And honestly, if I'm being 100% honest, I just stop writing. I don't work on my projects, like at all. I'll just stop. <laughs> I just don't do anything. What I want to do is at least get something down. So like doing like a stream of consciousness in the mindset of my characters, something like that to keep me in the creative mindset. But honestly, if I am at that point where I just feel like I can't write anything and I don't know what to write, I'll just not write. Like, I don't wanna take time and put out mediocre words. I want to put out the best words that I can. So when I get writer's block, I just, I, I don't do anything. I honestly just stop writing for the time being. I've gotten like six months to a year at a time without actually writing anything. And while it's not great, um, it does allow me to kind of reset my brain and think about the stories that I want to tell and get excited for them again. Sometimes you need that break from story in order to get excited for it again. And I do that. I allow myself to take breaks from stories if I'm not 100% ready to tell them or if I'm not 100% excited about the story. That is all I have for today's video. If you liked it, be sure to scroll down, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Let me know where your favorite place to write is, um, whether it's at home, whether it's at school, whether it's just outside, inside, on a couch. Let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to chat with you guys and thank you guys so much for watching Memento Mori, my friends, and I will see you guys all hopefully on Sunday, if not next week. Bye!